hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be doing an april setup video with you but if you are wondering why i have an erin condren planner and happy planner next to each other is because i'm changing my setup so if you saw my work planner setup for march then you know that i literally like i started like updating how i was going to use this old planner this is a 2020 planner that i was redating and i set it up a week before i started work and so far i liked the actual planner like i am actually using the planner as i suspected and i actually already need april we're in the middle of march right now but i'm already having plans come up for april so i'm gonna have april set up um so that when i go back on monday it's uh, ready to go but my office or not my office my office in itself is fine the desk area is not that great and when these kind of binders you cannot like put it like you can't do this um you can't open it and oh my goodness <laughs> and you can't do that you know you kind of this one i always have to have wide open and with my computer and my laptop and my keyboard it just it just doesn't fit so i'm thinking that i'm gonna switch this over to over here because this is also like look me having to like do this and having to play with it when i need to open it right away is just not it like this planner is very faulty it's not smooth i don't i i, I didn't like it so I've done it before where I punch these with my punch and use them on discs. So I'm thinking that I am just going to punch these sheets and just put them on some discs. I also find that I need like some dashboards and I need folders. And because Erin Condren doesn't make this system anymore, I can't find accessories for it. And like, as you can see, this is kind of wonky, like it's just i love it and it's customized with my initials and stuff but it just doesn't make sense like it's bubbling here it's, it doesn't make sense i think it's fair to use this to store the guts and once i use up the guts i can just throw it away um i also just have so much happy planner stuff in general so i think throwing this away i'll be fine i'll be just fine i'm not gonna you know cry or whatever um with that being said i have two cover options i have this one or i have this one from the Teresa collins and honestly <laughs> i thought this was, was gonna work and i actually really like this combo of mini discs with it but i just don't like that it says extra sparkly like that's kind of cringy in my opinion so i think i'm just gonna stick to this gray cover because i think these were made anyways to make your planner look like um more professional my cover is a little janky though because um this one has been used in storage standing up so a lot of tension has been on the bottom this is also a used cover i didn't buy it new from store so i think it'll be fine though because i'm kind of just taking it all over with me at all times so wait so I think it'll be okay. I'm kind of throwing it around. It's also kind of bubbly. I don't know. This, I've never used a, um, what's it called? A cover like this. Oh my goodness. I could also use this as the cover. No, that's ugly. I think I like the, I mean, it's a little janky. I'm not going to lie. This cover's a little janky. Um, but I'm going to use it for now, I guess. We'll see. I can always change out the cover. But I also thought about using this, but it's a little too bright. I don't want my planner to stand out on my desk. I don't want it to be something that is intriguing for people to want to look at. So I'm going to have to switch these over to some other disc. This is just where I stored my dividers. So I'm just kind of going to take them all out. And the reason that I'm going to just keep using the hourly guts from Erin Condren instead of using some guts for Happy Planner. Because um, if you've seen my collection, you know I have guts for the Happy Planner that I can use. Um, but I've kind of already committed to wanting to use Erin Condren. And I really like how my layouts have come out in this hourly and in this kind of paper that's kind of thick and like an off-white color. So I think if I punch it, it'll come out fine. Um, here, let me, oh, I'm going to have to not use this because this doesn't work. Um, let me show you. I have my punch here. Let me put it on a flat surface. 
and all i really do i have no method of like doing this any kind of way i'm just gonna make sure it lines up i think it's okay let's do one at a time i think it will punch nine punches will it will it okay i think this she is a little bit more two four six eight it's a little less than nine you can either punch it right at nine yeah you can actually punch it right at nine so i'm gonna punch it and it just looks funny because i'll have the extra holes on there but if i take my planner um it'll go right in there to me it doesn't bother me that you could see the erin condren punches it's fine i don't really care for it so now i would have to go in punch all this and put it in my um planner like so and i would only carry two to three months in here so that's why they're on mini discs um but anyways i'm not here to do that on camera that's a little time consuming um but just so you know i will be doing that i also think though that for the sake of taking pictures of my spreads and stuff i am gonna store them in here and take the pictures of it so that when you see them on instagram you know that i'm referring to my work planner um so for now like let's see i i kept may in here so maybe i'll just put may back in here and put the rest of the months in here as like a storage put this back on my shelf whatever once i'm done with this year i can throw it away um but i don't know if you guys remember that i have all these um sadie kits monthly kits so that's the only reason why i also want to keep on using these um these months it's because these kits are size for an erin condren and i since i'm redating most of this i do like for it to like match and stuff so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna start by trying to take off this sticker because i can layer a sticker on top but it'll be bulky okay i think that's as best as we're gonna do you guys already know that the first thing i need to lay down is this so let's go ahead and cover as you can see this is purple and this is peach so we're gonna go ahead and cover this because they were both from different months ah i laid that down so wrong oh i ripped the page ah you guys this is a little hectic for me i can't believe i ripped the page omg okay There you go. Beautiful. So now let's do the other one. Like so. Beautiful. Um, I have these. I need to see a calendar of April. Hold on. Okay, it seems that April starts here, which is good because I wanted to put a sticker on there to cover that rip. So I'm going to put this there. And then I'm going to start placing stickers where I can to cover this writing. So I'll put a sticker there. Right, right about there. Um, I'll do another one down here. I'll do this one short enough that I can put scallops. Can I? I think I can white out just a bit from it. And then put the scallops. That's good. And then I'll put one of these up here. Okay. That means that because I have all those stickers over there, I'm going to have to put some stickers over here. Kind of like that same pattern. Since these are across from each other. 
I'm gonna put this across from each other. And for what I've noticed, if I don't fill out the monthly, it's fine. Um, the actual boxes make the monthly look very pretty. So I don't mind. Ooh, I have to put a box here because that looks ugly. I don't have any other big boxes though. I'm gonna have to do like these. And I don't really like that. That's kind of random. Let me see my April calendar. My April is giving 1, 8, 15, 22, 29, 30. So then I would have to cover this. Okay. So I'd be able to cover this. Beautiful. So then I don't know if I would like that. I don't think I would, actually. Mm, I think I'll be fine, though. Let's just put one here. And then put another one on this side to even it out. Like maybe on... Maybe over here. No. Okay, how about we do what we did here? We put some scallops. And then we did a box. Maybe I will just put it here, who cares? Okay. Um, it's on a Tuesday. The 30th is on a Tuesday. So then I would place this Um, for this, I am going to use these because it says Monday through Sunday. My thing is that... Okay, that's fine. Okay. This has the thing. So, I know April Fool's Day, of course, is the first. Ooh, these are, this one's a little misprinted. So, we're going to do the first. And I believe Good Friday and Easter were actually in May this year. I mean, in March, sorry. So I'm not going to use Easter or Earth Day. But I will use, I mean, or Good Friday. But I'm going to use Earth Day on what is the 22nd. So actually, let me start dating so that I can um, go ahead and put that. Because I don't know where to put it. So far, I'm really liking this kit. For some reason, since this is a lot more muted, I was like, mm, I don't know if I'll like this kit. It seems like it's a little too boring. But it is coming together very nicely. This looks very pretty. Um, especially because of how much writing I had on the right side of the page. Um, it ended up coming out kind of seamless. I haven't covered everything just yet. Um, but it's coming together. And since I'm already using the planner and I've decorated a month before, I kind of know what I'm expecting. Earth Day is the 22nd, but I already have a box on there. So I don't want to add another box on top of it i don't want to do that um so i'm not gonna use it i do need a box up here though maybe i'll use this but even then it's kind of like isn't that a lot i don't know i guess it'll be fine but maybe i'll put like a scallop to box for my troubles do another scallop to box right under it and then i'll use one of these right about here for a to-do list um okay i can use this washi on i'll use it on the days that have the writing down here so I'll do this. Actually, hold on. Before I do washi, let me see how this is going to look. Because I don't have enough stickers to decorate this. Which means that I might just have to use like whatever I have left. So like for example, maybe I could put some washi right here. 
the purple goes with it so i'm not gonna cover the purple yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do i'd rather put the washi on here and then maybe i'll do the washi right in the middle over here So far, last month, I put way too many stickers on this uh, part of the planner, and I don't think I'll be able to use it all. Maybe the first month because I'm training. I'm doing a lot of training, so maybe I will. Um, but in general, I don't have that much to-do list to write. Most of it is self-explanatory or online. So all I really have are these boxes left, which I think if I wanted to, I could spread it out like so. Um, I have two boxes I don't know if I want to put them on here TBH I think I will but I don't know if I'll use the boxes only because I think the monthly has a lot going on there you go is there anything on here that I'd use no I don't think so so I'm going to leave this oh, hello I have to cover that huge freaking thing up there that says November 2020 because I not in November 2020 let me see I do want to put the days that I get paid but let me see do I have payday stickers I know I have payday stickers it's like where are they that's a better question because I know I have them I know they exist payday Mm, I have a calendar that actually tells me what days I get paid, but I'm actually just going to do the math. So, okay, I think I get paid the 12th, so I'm going to do payday, and then I get paid the 26th. Payday. Beautiful. Um, okay, and then I also was going to use these stickers right here, because last month I forgot to use them. And I use incredibly big stickers on my monthly spread. So, she is. We're almost done. I just have to cover that November. Oh, I have to cover both Novembers, actually. Because I also have the November here. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. And Saturday. Cute. Oh my goodness, guys. I am quite literally in love. Let me see if there is anything that I want to put. I would like something that says like to do or something. Like, okay, let's do this. Don't forget. This one's in the same font as my payday. So maybe I'll do this here. And then maybe I'll do like a something else over here. This week. Or no, not this week. This is a this month. Um, Let's see if we can do to do. Let's just do to do. to do cute 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 okay now i need to cover this i believe for march i used a silver box so let me get my box of stickers i think up front i'm going to use silver just because that's what i used but in the back i'm going to use gold because that's what goes with the month And then the back here, I'll use a gold box. Where do I have my gold boxes? By the way, I'm going through this big bad boy. Here she is. Let's do one of these. I don't know if the gold's going to be the same, but Happy Planner Gold is very specific. Yeah, this is a little bit darker than the gold that Sadie's uses. That's okay like so and then i need a box for 
this. I don't know if I have a big enough box to cover that. I have this one, but it doesn't look thick enough. Okay, I might have to... No, these are way too thin. Like, they look thicker, but once you bring them out... I think I'm just going to have to white out. So let's white out like that. And then let's do that. Let's see if that's enough. And I believe I used one of these that were really thin. Where is she? Where's my thin... Was it this? It was this. I really like these for work because they're not too thick, so they look very nice. And actually, I said I didn't care to put this here, but I have this pulled up. Maybe I can do... Would this look pretty? I think the letters are too thick. Or actually, no, I should be fine. There you are. Is that fine? Oh, you know, it's a little... I don't know. Okay, that should be fine. And then, what else am I going to do? One last thing. Here. This is November 2020. Here. The Data Basics. It was an April one. I mean, I used the March, obviously, last time. But these are big enough. And the script is pretty similar. Final flip through, guys. April. Look at her monthly. Very nice. Very pretty. And then notes section. The April's a little off guard, but that's okay. And then for the next video, you guys will see me actually decorate the weeklies, which I think I'm going to have five. So stay tuned for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys like these kinds of redating videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.